Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to bring you a video on how this conflict between Israel and Palestine is going to affect credit and lending from the banks, even here in the United States. I wanted to bring you this information because this is going to eventually affect you and your family personally when it comes to credit and banking. Now, if you're new to my channel, my channel is designed to help you no matter where you are in your credit journey. So if you like that kind of information, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Also hit your notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. And at my website, I give you a free hard inquiry removal package because hard inquiries can get you denied for credit. And I have other packages for purchase to help you remove your negative items. I also have rolled out my elite credit system with my credit coaching along with AI software to help you remove your negative items. My users have been really getting some good responses when it comes to removing negative items. This user have removed seven negative accounts in one month by using the AI system along with my credit coaching. So if you like to sign up, I will leave the link in the description of this video and in the pinned comment section. Now, when it comes to this conflict between Israel and Palestine, this is a long-standing conflict and my heart really goes out to all the victims um, in the attacks uh, in Israel to their families, um, the hostage situation in their families, and also on the Palestinian side where you have a uh, loss of life for civilians and victims and really on both sides the children because the children are innocent and they don't know anything about geopolitics or history but they are becoming part of the collateral damage in this conflict so I'm praying for peace and a resolution to this situation where there's really no easy answers but not only in the loss of life is their consequences. There's going to be economic and financial consequences because we're already in a situation where we have really high interest rates and the Fed have even uh, rose those interest rates higher to try to slow down the inflation um, that was caused during the pandemic. And so with two wars going on, one with Israel and Palestine and the war in Ukraine um, against Russia, this is gonna add another level of instability. And the US dollar is the currency that is used to trade around the world. So when we suffer uh, high inflation, the whole world is suffering high inflation. And so when you have these conflicts playing out in a high interest rate environment, it's going to cause some effects that's going to uh, actually come and hit home to you. Because now with the commercial banks having to borrow from the Fed at a higher interest rates, when it gets to you as the consumer, you're going to get an even higher interest rate. And we're seeing this play out in the home market. So to get a mortgage, mortgage rates are almost at 8% right now. And the average home price in the United States is around $416,000. And if you never purchased a home, and understand that your annual income come into play, uh, just a general number, they usually look at your annual income and times that by three to see what you can afford for a home. And when you're looking at that number, you're gonna have to have a household income almost close to about like, you know, uh, probably around a hundred thousand or better 
and not including if you already have debts that have to be deducted out of that income like car loans and things like that and you might really need more than that hundred thousand because the interest rates are higher the cost of borrowing is higher so with that buying that home you're going to need a larger down payment to put down on that home even um 3.5 percent uh with fha that's a tall order to uh put down on a you know four hundred and sixteen thousand dollar mortgage on that home and having the income to qualify for that mortgage then when it comes to those in the secondary market looking to sell their homes who might have the equity to actually put down there's less home buyers that can qualify so there's nobody to sell your home to and this is going to create a problem for you especially if you are in certain cities where you already have really high rental rates this is going to go higher you're going to even see um uh, home rates have been coming down but in some areas they're really still high and really unaffordable and when you have tons of people that's coming in uh, with the migrant crisis in cities like new york where the average rent is about four thousand dollars a month you have more people that are competing for those units and in chicago and other places and what this is going to do is cause rental prices to increase because you have less people that can buy a home to get them out of the rental market to give some relief now you're going to even have less developers that's going to be able to borrow at a lower rate to even build more homes affordable homes and when you're dealing in cities uh trust me i'm a landlord uh, i have this experience currently you have a lot of states that have a lot of red tape and compliance to really hinder getting units on the market okay so it's just going to be a, a really become a huge housing crisis then on top of that uh, with more people coming in understand you guys you really need to get your credit together because with your credit if you got an influx of people with a clean slate and you have credit issues already and all they have to do is build credit which is not hard to do and they have income with pretty much no debt they're going to be competing for those loans the banks already have higher interest rates and they only give out a number of loans uh, car loans mortgages credit card loans in a given area to secure themselves from losses so um you know the bank fortifies themselves and have a strategy so they don't have a all-out loss and with businesses not being able to uh, actual borrow to operate a lot of businesses have vendor accounts or credit accounts where they will buy their products and then sell it to you and in 30 days 60 days be able after they make that fit to pay off that account with that being taken away because of less lending higher interest rates either that cost is going to be pushed on to you and many businesses are going to cut back meaning layoffs okay they're going to lay off and with this uh conflict here here in israel with palestine and ukraine you know investors don't want to invest in the stock market and instability so a lot of times when it comes to businesses that's another form of liquidity for them to fundraise to get money 
especially when the banks are not lending is through stocks and the stock market. But with investors seeing all of this breaking out and how it's affecting markets, many of them will pull back on investing to really safeguard themselves. So this is going to be a ripple effect from this uh, conflict if it continues to go on for more instability in the economy. And it is really going to be a ripple effect for everybody. So for uh, you, you might want to consider these things and try to take some steps. Now I'm going to give you some steps but this does not constitute legal or financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. Now, one thing that can be done, you know, the beginning of the year is coming up and it's tax time. Maybe starting a home business, making some money there, or being an independent contractor, driving Lyft, Uber Eats can help you if you are already a payroll employee get some of that tax income back because what happens with your car now you can write off your uh, insurance maintenance on your car if you're doing deliveries and using your vehicle um, car payment all of those things and if you're working out of your home your rent now can be a tax write-off lights utilities internet so that can save you on that end also, you really need to watch your budget, um, make sure that you're looking over your spending because if you need to go out and borrow, you don't want a lot of credit card debt, you guys, because like I said, it's more people, more competition that's coming into certain areas with a clean slate. And if you have a ton of debt and you got some credit problems and somebody else got a clean slate, with just income, they're going to beat you out. You know, they're going to beat you out. And especially with people who were made legal, um, they qualify for a TIN number to get credit cards and um, to really get loans. So you have to consider that on making sure that you manage your budget. Okay. Because with this conflict, you know, it can actually increase uh, really with uh, more support going out from our government into other, uh, you know, places of conflict. Uh, that's more mon money printing. Yeah, that's just the best way to tell you. It's just more money printing if they do that from the federal bank, which is going to cause more inflation. You know, so you need to really start keeping an eye on this and finding ways to put yourself in the best position possible so you and your family with you know if it's more inflation coming in food prices are higher um you know electricity housing is higher but guess what's not higher that's right your paycheck is not higher so maybe it's time for you to start an online business um, think about adding some additional income. Like I tell you guys, you know, if you're doing those things, Uber Eats and stuff, that's things that you can account as income on your applications for those loans, for those credit cards, because you are really making more income. So those can be ways to help you qualify for more. So um, with this coming down the line, you guys keep an eye on on the inflation part uh, make sure you budgeting uh, all these things are making a perfect storm um, after the pandemic this is uncharted territory you guys very uncharted ter territory because the pandemic was a black swan event and now with this moving forward in these high interest rates like man like 12 percent eight percent interest rates was like back in reagan's time like you know 80s but your home prices you know my parents built a new home 
uh, in the 80s for 90,000. It wasn't the same numbers that you're looking at. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, you know, really consider these things and start moving accordingly to make sure you're managing your credit. If you got credit issues, you need to really work on it because it can be uh, problematic for you just to have a place to live moving forward. So I hope this was informational. It gave you something or a perspective to think about and to work for you and your family to position yourself to be in a good position, even if things get worse. So if you have questions or comments, drop it in the comment section. If you have more detailed questions, you can just go to my website and all your questions go directly to my cell phone. And I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.